beginning of a serious adventure. Three nights, four days, camping, spearfishing, cooking. I'm on board Rosie, the brig. Navigate Come aboard. <laughs> Stoked for this. Well, hey. There we go. Two happy adventures. Yeah. That's the one. Goodbye Penzance. We departed from Penzance and began our 60 km journey for the Isles of Scilly. I decided we would pause halfway at an offshore lighthouse to see if we could secure a fish for the campfire later that evening. about 15 miles off Penzance and we've come out really into the Atlantic now. There's a bit more sea here and there's this lighthouse on our course, it's called the Wolfrock Lighthouse so we're going to jump in see if there's any fish here on our way over. It could be quite interesting, it's 10 miles offshore um, and it's basically a piece of extrusive rock which comes up from a 60 metre seabed just right up the lighthouse on top, so if I hold some fish, we'll find out. Yeah. Very excited. This was like nowhere I had dived before. The pinnacle plunged almost vertically downwards into the abyss covered in sparkling jewel anemones. Kelp growth at 30 metres shows how clear the water must be for most of the year. The top of the pinnacle lies in 10 metres of water and was packed with pollock, which danced around me inquisitively. I discovered that the reef extends about 100 metres south of the lighthouse. As the water suddenly slackened off, much larger pollock began to emerge from deeper water. This is an exciting place. Just dropped down 15.4 meters and they're uh, massive pollock. This this one just swam straight towards me like I'd never seen a person before. This is our dinner, y'all. Look at that. Wow, sir. All probably six to ten pounds milling about in the school. So yeah. Tonight. Beautiful. Look at the condition of it as well. I managed to put a kill shot into the fish, so you see this spot here, just at the lateral line behind the eye, above the pectoral fin, that's a great place to put a kill shot in, and then your fish is just going to roll over in the water, make it very easy to deal with. Oh. Stoked. We're going to head to the Isles of Scilly now, find a spot to camp, and we're going to have this for supper. We've arrived! Bit spoiled for choice, we're just scoping out a potential spot to camp for our first night. And we're just surrounded by white sandy beaches.
found our spot. Some lovely trees lining the edge of the beach here. Long, curving, sandy beach. Kind of a long arch. So this is where we're gonna have a catch and cook. Camp. Catch and cook. Catch and cook. Live the dream. Just gonna bring it in on this little bit of sand here. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> There's a brick Navigator 610 has landed at the Isles of Scilly. Look at her, she is looking good. The beauty of this place had us all a bit lost for words. White sand, turquoise sea, what more could you ask for? Like Sir Philip, uh, the Pollock, starting with this fin here and bringing the knife all the way down. Visualise where the backbone is. Knife go in. This fish didn't suffer at all, it was just lights out. That's the thing I absolutely love about spearfishing because you know, if you're angling, which I also enjoy, but with angling, I always feel a bit sorry to the fish. You know, it's fighting on the hook for a long time. Uh, but with spearfishing, um, you can often get that kill shot in. The fish just knows nothing about it, and so it can be an extremely humane way of dealing with fish but that said I very much appreciate angling as well and uh, except it's a wonderful way to catch fish too. When I come to the tail I tend to put the knife in right in across and then slide out and then put my knife in here just to get the remainder off down there see I missed a little bit there that's not top marks but we have quite a bit of fish there I don't want to take the belly so I'm gonna kind of trim it off there and that there is dinner for free very hungry chaps You right, ready? what have we got here then, Joe? Captain Joe. Cornish Pollock. Oh, gee whiz. Look at the girth <laughs> on this. Well, <laughs> patties, <laughs> onions. How is it, Chris? Really nice. So it's lovely, we've had a long day and we really need some healthy food. So this here is Chris Grigg, and he's a Cornish man. Cornish man? Cornish man. Cornish man. Cornish man. <laughs> Cornish man. This is Cammy, and he's from Brixham. Brixham boy. Yeah. And look at that. <laughs> How's it tasting? Lovely. Really nice with the skin on. Yeah, that's why yeah, I descaled it. On. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I just took the time to descale it and, um, yeah. Uh, what do you think of the scenery? Pretty impressive. That's all we got for you today. Thank you very much for uh, watching the video and next week I will upload the second part of this camping mission. So, thank you very much. See you next time. Cheers.